stand ready for our first ever at home science experiment. As you can see, I'm at home and I'm really excited about science. The first one we're going to be doing is how to create your own erupting volcano. I have the how to directions if you want to print them up. If you don't, you can write them down or you can just follow along on this video and it'll give you a step by step how to do it. Number one, ask for your parents permission. Mom, can I do a science experiment today? Of course you can. Thanks for your permission. Step number two, once you have your parents permission, gather all of the ingredients. First ingredient, more like materials, two plastic cups. Second ingredient, three quarters cup of water. That means just fill your plastic cup about three quarters. Mine will be about to the rim. Number three, three to six tablespoons of baking soda. You'll need more if you want your volcano to do more eruptions. You will also need number four, a little bit of dish soap. Washable paint. This one is optional. If you don't have it, your lava will just be clear. Otherwise, if you have it, you can make your lava color. Let's start with the red one. And vinegar. My ingredients. Two plastic cups with three-fourths cup of water baking soda, vinegar, paint, and dish soap. Step number three. With a cup that's three-fourths cup of water, you're gonna mix the other ingredients in with it at this time. So then when you go outside, you don't have to bring a bunch of ingredients outside with you. So first, you have your th three-fourths cup of water. Then you're gonna put in three to six tablespoons. The more baking soda that you put in, foamier it will get. Also, if you put in more, you'll be able to do more eruptions. So I'm gonna put in about four and a half. One, two. paint as well. Remember this step is optional. You don't have to add the paint. This will just make my lava red. So what you're actually going to be bringing outside is your empty cup, your cup with all the ingredients in it, and your vinegar. Step number four. Bring your ingredients with you to go and put on your outside gear. I'm gonna be putting on boots since I'm gonna be outside. Step number five, look around your yard. Is there any spot where you have little pea rocks or a lot of dirt or a place where you can make a mound that's about a foot high? <gasps> yes. Step number seven, 
You can see my hands got a little bit dirty. But that's okay, that happens when you're playing outside. Your next step is to make a hole in the top. This hole here is where your empty cup is gonna go. So grab your empty cup and it's gonna go right in the top. Ooh. Don't be like Miss Aishins and Crackers though. Make that hole oh, right up into the top of your cup. And with mine, you're gonna notice I'm gonna wanna add some more dirt. So that's what I'm gonna be doing now. ingredients for your lava. You're gonna stir it up one more time. Make sure those ingredients are active. Then what you're gonna do is take those ingredients and pour them into your empty cup. We're forming the volcano right now. Now this is the fun part. The explosion. Are you ready? Step number nine. Grab your vinegar uncap it. This is where the explosion happens. You're gonna pour about a cup into your volcano and watch it explode. Oh look at it go! It's running down the side! optional. If you want your volcano to explode again and you want to use a different paint color, you can. All you do is take your paint, squirt just a little bit into it, stir it up, stir it up, and we're going to make it explode again. So all you have to do is take the vinegar you still have left and start pouring it in for it to explode again. Ever at home science experiment. Mm -hmm. 